Possessing physical silver, is there a set amount needed? Should you have 100 ounces? 500 ounces? 1,000 ounces of silver? How much should you actually own? Hey, I'm the Stacking Stormtrooper. If you're new to the channel, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a guy in a bucket talking about precious metals. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, get the bell notification clicked, and that way you get updated with any new content. Possessing physical silver, is there a set amount needed? So I've been getting that question quite a bit lately, especially because of the spot prices that we have been seeing. People have been asking me, Stacking Stormtrooper, how much silver should I own? Where should I get it? How much should I spend? You know, what is it too late for me? Did I miss the boat? And, you know, it really all depends on what it is that you are looking to achieve. It depends on your budget. It depends on your income. It depends on your bills. It depends on your uh, your finances. And it, it, it really all depends on person to person. The one thing that we do see, though, quite a bit, we do see the uh, you know standard typical ten percent you know that we always hear that the financial advisors tell everybody you should have ten percent of your net worth in precious metals. Is that good for everybody? I mean, not necessarily, right? It it really all depends on again the person and what they're looking to do. But I did post a video I would say about two months ago, and I got a lot of heat for it talking about selling a lot of my silver, if not all of my silver. Um, and I said the reason for this was because of, number one, the fact that it's very cumbersome. Number two, I kind of was really pretty heavy with the silver. I had, you know, around 1,500 ounces. Um, and let's see, where can I even fit this on the, on the camera here? Some junk silver here. Um, but I do have still quite a bit as you can see a lot of this though isn't necessarily for my personal stack some of this is the stuff that i saw on my website my auctions instagram so on and so forth and uh this just keeps getting overloaded here let's put that right there so is there a set amount that one should have not really um here's the thing all right what is this just a buffalo round it's like a giveaway at some point some more constitutional. Basically, I do think, though, that everybody should have at least some. And I know that that's such a vague, broad, you know, number. Because it's not even a number. It's just, it's very, very broad. It's like second Stormtrooper. We want to know the exact amount. This is what I will tell you. I will tell you that a good amount to have, look at all that. This was gifts, by the way. Thank you to everybody who's been sending me, <laughs> who have been sending me gifts. Um, I would say to a lot of you, if you don't own any silver, you're probably going to want to get some as soon as possible. I don't think it's necessarily too late for you. I do think that you still have time to buy some. The thing with silver spot prices hovering where they are right now at the $26, $27 range. You know, I've said this before in many of my other videos. A lot of us are so used to paying, you know, 17, 18, 19 bucks for silver eagles, and we've been very spoiled with the spot prices being that low. And because of that, some people are very hesitant to be buying silver. So the thing is this spot prices can very well shoot up right they could go another 10 20 30 bucks depends on who you ask there's a lot of videos analysts saying it's going to hit 125 200 300 500 dollars an ounce um i have my own thoughts on that i've talked about that plenty of times in the past that i'm not one of those like silver pumpers that i think that silver is going to just like skyrocket and hit the moon there you know, a lot of people, they definitely have a lot of faith in silver. I do think that silver can continue to rise. I think it will continue to rise. I think especially in this election year, there's still a lot of uncertainty. So I do see silver basically going up further. And you got to think about it this way too. The fact is silver has been sitting in that mid-teen range for quite some time, right? And it could definitely drop 
you know, five, ten bucks over the next handful of months. I don't think that's going to happen, but it could drop and get back down to that range. I would love for that to happen. I don't see that happening, though. I do actually believe that we are kind of in a new baseline territory now. I think we're going to hover in this $25, $27 range for a while. But I do think that the potential for you to make money and save your wealth, store your wealth, preserve your wealth in silver, you have more potential to actually do that than actually lose money, okay? So basically what I'm trying to say is that you should buy silver now because the upside, there's more potential for upside than there is downside. This is some silver that I just got from my friend Silver Britches. What on earth are you sending me? I don't even want to ask. Let's see what he sent. What is What kind of packing is this, dude? What are you... Uh, okay. I'll have to talk to him about that later on. I don't, I don't know what he's dressing up as like a tooth fairy. I don't know what he's doing. So I do think that there's more potential for silver to rise than it is to fall. And even if it does fall, you're not really going to be losing that much money unless you are going to sell it, right? And a lot of us view stacking silver and gold as long-term holds. And I think that you, sh what do you have a dirty sock in here, dude? What the heck is this? I do think that there's more potential for silver to climb than it is to fall. So is there a set amount of silver that you should have? In my opinion, I think you should have as much as you possibly can within the means of your budget. Uh, for a set amount, is there an actual set amount? I mean, I would feel comfortable personally sitting on 500 ounces, which I have. I think that 500 ounces is a good number to at least have some security, almost like insurance uh, in case of you know a, a certain situation. What is this? Miller's coin and currency. Oh, that's kind of cool. Cool little burlap sack there. So I think a good number to aim for would be 500 ounces. That would be the number that I, I feel comfortable personally. That might be too much for some. That might be not enough for others. And you're going to have to kind of look at it. And yes, I'm holding silver with my bare hands. I know that this has all been handled with uh, bare hands. So got just some random rounds here. Um, that's actually uh, some old, you know, seated lib there or uh, Liberty Silver. So this is like a stacking round. What's this one here? Uh, standing Liberty quarter design. Um, oh, the Aztec calendar. Got another Aztec calendar. Oh, COVID. A little COVID action. More COVID action. A proof buffalo. What's that? Uh, it's a minor. And a, a quarter. Cool. Or... Liberty Lobby, what the heck? Look at that George Washington. I think that you should have around 500 ounces. Why is that? Again, I think that it just is a very solid foundation. Some people may argue that 500 ounces isn't enough, um, but I think that that is a good goal to shoot for, 500 ounces. How do I pick that number? Well, I mean, right now, silver sitting at, what, 26 bucks, um, $27. And if you factor in the cost of what your monthly expenses are, uh, you know, how much money you could put aside for silver, um, how disciplined are you when you're saving your cash, I think that silver is a good way to save your money. For me, it's worked as a way uh, for me to save some of my money, and I'm a lot more disciplined when I'm putting it into precious metals. I think it's because of that you know, collecting um, aspect to it. You know, I, I like collecting stuff and I, you know, the fact is you're seeing this collection grow, your own collection grow, and you know that it's got some intrinsic value to it, right? That it's actual money, that it's actually worth something. Um, and the other nice thing about it is that it is liquid. I think that you know, when you look at countries like, let's say, Venezuela, right? We saw that that country just kind of imploded and um, people were saying that you could buy six months of groceries for one ounce of silver. 
Um, I don't see our country ever getting uh, to a point of destabilization where we are, you know, banking on one ounce of silver to supply our entire families with food for six months. I don't see that happening. But, you know, in terms of like a recession, even a depression, uh, and God forbid, if there is something like that where there is a complete collapse and we use silver as uh, some type of uh, currency, um, you know, I would rather have more than not enough. The nice thing again about silver is that you can always sell it, right? And the nice thing about it too is that, you know, if you're buying it in, you know, one ounce increments or even fractional and constitutional like that, you know, you could either sell off a lot, you could sell off just a little bit, depending on what your needs are. But for me personally, I think that 500 ounces is a nice baseline for my own situation, my own family, my own bills. And, um, you know, it, it's, you know, can that last me a long time? No. Um, but for me, sitting on it, I have more peace of mind having 500 ounces. If you have a more restrictive budget, um, you know, you should maybe strive for 100 ounces. Um, the fact is, there's a lot of people that don't know about silver. If you ask a lot of your friends or people about silver, what do they know? Like, what do they know about an American silver eagle? Uh, how much silver or gold do they own? A lot of them will probably tell you they don't own any. Maybe some will say, oh, I've got some jewelry or whatever. But, you know, I'm talking coins and bullion and, and stuff like that. So, um, you know, if you can't have 500, get whatever you possibly can. I posted a video, should you be buying silver eagles anymore? Um, you know, in my opinion, anything above like $33, $34, I think is a little too much. Um, you know, so you should be getting, you know, some generic stuff. Where the heck did I put it? Like this, like this buffalo round or this buffalo round. You should be getting some generic stuff if possible. But you're going to want to um, definitely stack as much as you possibly can. So is there a set amount that is needed? Uh, again, depends on your own personal situation. For me, I, I feel comfortable at 500 ounces minimum. And, uh, for some of you out there, that might be not enough. That might be too much, but point is you want to be stacking at all times. And you also want to diversify. You don't want to just have silver eagles. You want to have stuff like this constitutional silver. This is, you know, really cheap stuff, stuff that could be used as currency. I mean, like, look at this as a like grimy stuff. I forget where I got this from Atmex. You know, look at this thing. Looks like it was in a sewer. Uh, you know, these are some Merc dimes. But get a little of whatever you can. And I'll do another video of, you know, breaking down, you know, how much you should have in, in each type. I probably have already done videos of that kind and they might, might need to be revamped. But, you know, definitely want to be buying as much as you can, when you can, even if it's like a couple ounces each week. Whatever fits within your budget. But look at the the picture of your finances and look at your age, look at your long-term goals. What do you what do you see in your future? What is it that you're looking to do with your silver? And uh, how much can you put away? And then I think, you know, once you have that goal identified, start working at that goal. And once you hit that goal, ask yourself, do you need to keep on going or do you have enough? And again, I, I stacked too much in my opinion. I had around 1,500 ounces and I decided, okay, I'm going to, you know, unload some of that. I absorbed some of my personal uh, stack into my auction and my website. I've been selling that for profits and um, it's been allowing me to stack gold with those profits. So it really all depends on each individual's uh, overall game plan. If you have any questions or um, you know you have any ideas or something that you want to run by me, just email me or drop me a comment down below. Some of your comments have uh, inspired some of my videos and I respond to them. So just let me know if you have any questions. If you disagree completely with me on that 500 ounce number, definitely comment down below. Some people are going to say have even more. I don't, just let us all know what your thoughts are. That's what makes this community great. Difference of opinions, getting uh, more insight from multiple people. Uh, don't just listen to me, but look at the different channels throughout the community. So let me know down below. Do you agree with my number on 500 ounces? Hands and coins. And I just want to quickly thank these elite channel supporters. And if you haven't become a channel member, please check out the awesome perks and join today. With that, I'm the Stacking Stormtrooper. Check out these videos. Until next time, long live the Empire.